understand you soon, it won't be long. Keep on, keep on. Okay, so now we've done the basic solving of surface area of a cuboid, we're going to go into a little bit more problem solving. We've got a cuboid in front of us here that's got th uh, three sides, two sides we know, one side we don't. So again, we're going to have to try and find that missing side. So it says find the value of x. Okay, so this value over here, we don't know what it is. So if I want to find the front side, and we're just going to do the, the three sides we can see. If I want to find the front, this side here, Again, you're using the same values on everything. So we've got length across the bottom at times by height. So to find the front, I've got 10 multiplied by x. Okay, to find the side, and to find this side, we've got 2 multiplied by x. So plus 2 times x. Okay, and to find the third side, this top bit here, we've got 10 multiplied by 2 so plus 10 multiplied by 2 and remember that's only three the three sides we can see there's three sides that are behind that shape that we can't see at the moment so if we look to um, if we look to show that by some dotted lines in the back there okay you can see we've got this side at this end this side at the back and the bottom side just down there so there's three sides that we can't actually see so we're going to multiply the whole of that by two now doing the next step we're going to multiply the um, algebra out in the bracket so we've got 10 times x gives me 10 lots of x two lots of x gives me 2x and 10 times 2 gives me 20. So we've simplified that one more step. And we're still going to multiply the whole thing by 2 when we get that done. Okay, we can simplify it one step further by uh, combining the like terms. So we've got 10x plus 2x gives me 12 lots of x plus 20. And remember, I can't add the 20 to the 12x. It's two different terms. Okay, there's no x variable there, so I can't add it. So the last stage I can do is um, multiply out the 2 into the bracket. So expand the bracket. So 2 times 12x gives me 24 lots of x. And 2 times 20 gives me 40. Okay. So now we've got a, an expression for the surface area of that cuboid. We're told in the question that the actual surface area will equal 112. So we're just now going to put it into the equation and solve for x. Okay. So to get uh, rid of the 40, remember you're doing the inverse function. So take away 40 from both sides. That's going to give me 24 lots of x equals the 40s will cancel. 40 away from 112 is going to give me 72. And if I then divide down by the coefficient of x, so divide down by 24, the 24s cancel and just leaves me x. And then how many 24s go into 72? We've got 24, 48, 72. So x will equal 3. Now if I wanted to check that just to make sure it was right, okay, as my check I'm going to say we ended up knowing that two lots of 12x plus 20 was the expression for the surface area so I'm just going to substitute in the value of 3 into that equation so we've got two lots of 12 times 3 plus 20 well, 12 times 3 gives me 36 plus 20 is going to give me 56 and if I multiply that through by 2 2 times 56 will give me 112 so 
centimeters squared. Hope that was useful.